In this video, we're going to talk about binary numbers as an alternative to our typical base 10 or decimal number system. Uh, you can see here the number 2071 written out in base 10. Each numeral, 0 through 9, represents a certain number of powers of 10 within the number. For example, since there are two thousands in the number 2071, we write it as 2 times 10 to the third, which is 1,000, plus 0 times 100, or 10 to the 2, plus 7 times 10, plus 1 times 10 to the 0, remembering that 10 to the 0 is actually just equal to 1. In computer science, it can be more convenient to use base 2 or binary notation. The number 2071 can be decomposed into 1 times 2 to the 11, plus 0 times 2 to the 10, 2 to the 9, 2 to the 8, etc. Your next 1 is in the 2 to the 4's place, then 2 to the 2, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 0. And the way you would write that number down is 1, 0 for the 10, 0 for the 9, 0 for the 8, 0 for the 7, 6, 5. And then a 1 for the 2 to the 4 spot, a 0 for the 2 to the 3rd spot, a 1 for the 2 squared spot, a 1 for the 2 spot, and a 1 for the 1's spot. And then, so that I don't confuse this with a very large base 10 number, I wrap it in this sub 2 notation. We're going to have a recursive algorithm for writing a number n in binary. If n is 0, we're going to write down 0 as its binary expansion. If n is 1, we're going to write 1 as its binary expansion. These two lines are typically the base case in a recursive algorithm. You always need to know where to stop or else you'll just keep going down forever. All right, here's what we're going to do if n is larger than 1. We're going to find the highest power of 2 that is less than n. And from that, we're going to figure out how many digits our number has. So if we have d digits, the highest power of 2 that divides it is going to be 2 to the d minus 1. The reason there's one more digit is because we include a digit for the 1's place. Then we're going to put a 1 as the highest digit of our number, and then we're going to fill out the rest of the digits according to whatever the binary expansion of n minus 2 to the d minus 1 is. So in order to find the binary expansion of n, we end up finding the binary expansion of the smaller value instead. And I want to point out to you, here is where the recursion comes in. In order to write a number in binary, we must write another number in binary. Let's see an example. We're going to write the number 50 in binary. Notice that to the right of the screen is a bunch of powers of 2's, uh, the 0th power of 2, which is 1, up through the 7th power of 2, which is 128, much more than we need for this example. Observe that the highest power of 2 that is less than or equal to 50 is the number 32, which is equal to 2 to the 5th power. Therefore, d minus 1 is equal to 5, so d itself is equal to 6. So we're going to have a 6-digit binary number, which I'm going to call 1 is my uh, highest digit. A 4, a 3, a 2, a 1, a 0 are my other 5 digits. And these are the binary expansion of 50 minus 32, which is 18. All right, so let's find out what the binary expansion of 18 is. The highest power of 2 that divides 18 is 16. So the binary expansion of 18 is going to be 1, then a 3, a 2, a 1, a 0. So what that tells me is that my binary expansion of 50 is 1, 1, a 3, a 2, a 1, a 0, sub 2, there should be a sub 2 here as well, where the remaining digits are the binary expansion of whatever's left over. 18 minus 16 is 2. Okay, so what we've seen so far is that 50 can be decomposed into 32 plus 16 plus 2. In binary, that would be 1, 1, where the first two 1s represent the 32 and the 16, followed by four unknown digits. Okay, well the highest power of 2 that's less than or equal to 2 is 2 itself. So that's 2 to the 1. And so that tells us that the a1 is supposed to be a 1. And the last unknown digit is a0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So according to the very first line of our recursive algorithm, a0 should itself be 0. So this tells us that a1 is 1 and a0 is 0. Now our binary expansion for 50 is 1, 1, 
We don't know the value of A3 and A2 because we actually skipped over those because all we needed was the A1 and the A0 to make 2. All right, well, these digits aren't are representing powers of 2 that aren't here, so we're just going to replace them both with 0. So our number is finally 1100102. And I want to point out that the binary expansion for 50 is 1100102. The binary expansion for 18, which was 50 minus 32, is 10010. And the binary expansion for 2, which was what was left over, is 10 base 2. So notice that the digits in 18 are all present in 50, and the digits for 2 are all present in 18. So that's where this recursive algorithm comes in for calculating a numbers expansion in binary. The good news is you're not always going to go to all that work. It's actually a very quick process once you figure out what's going on. Let me show you what this looks like sped up. So if I want to write 902 in binary, I'm first going to find the highest power of 2 that goes into 902. That's going to be 512. So that gives me the first digit of my binary expansion for 902. Then I subtract. 390 left over. The highest power of 2 that goes into 390 is 256. So since 256 is present, I get another 1 in my expansion, minus the next power of 2, which is 128, giving me another 1 in my expansion. 134 minus 128 leaves a remainder of 6. And so now notice that I'm going to skip a whole bunch of numbers because I'm not going to do 64, I'm not going to do 32, I'm not going to do 16. So 64, 32, 16, 8, and my next power of 2 is going to be 4. Uh, and then I have a 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so my last digit is 0. And this is the binary expansion of 902.